projection is not just for the movies. Christopher Nolan's IMAX epic Oppenheimer is projection on a massive scale, involving miles of film and enormous vision. But projection of a different kind is everywhere. The projection that Merriam-Webster defines as the attributions of one's own ideas, feelings, or attitudes to others. We see it a lot in politics lately, where it seems every accusation is a confession. I've seen it in software, where programmers assume that because it's obvious to them, everyone will figure out that new feature. And it's one of the most pernicious problems in leadership. Leaders assuming that what's best for them is what's great for others. I've talked about projection around remote work. Leaders who love the office or who have resources to make office work a breeze assume that it works for everyone. But I see it in more subtle ways, too. Leaders who love a hardcore, sharp elbows environment project that onto the work culture. They enjoy the scrappy meeting and the pushing back. They give everyone a hard time. Their feedback is always rough and raw. They give it only because not only can they take it, they love it. And they project that world onto everyone. They think people who can't handle it are weak or worse. But not everyone thrives in that world. Many are horrified, too terrified to even object. And the sharp-elbowed leader thinks their silence is acceptance. So if you're a leader, take the time to understand your team. Find out how they work, how they thrive. Don't project, ask.